Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of France to Frexico. Uh, we need the money, it is a sin. Sins don't matter when it matters money, especially in the 1400s. Um, <laughs> welcome to today's episode. Uh, today we've got a plan. Today things are going to be Autobot rollout. We are going hard to the core. England's going to get start getting stronger. We need to complete our missions. So, today is the day. Today is the day that things start to go a lot better for us. Not that they haven't already, because, you know, hello, look at that. Don't you just love the color of the turquoise, maybe, question mark? We'll roll with that one. Um, but I have my advisor for half the price. I've got a nice income rolling in. I will be completing all of the trade buildings very, very soon, and then moving on to taxation and then production. Everything is going swimmingly so far. But so far, mm -mm -mm. so far isn't good enough. I'm going to move these guys back down to Montpellier because I don't know what's going to happen in this next step. We are currently the second greatest power in the world and third best in the game right now. But that's not good enough. No, no, no. So if you want to see more, click like and subscribe for this bombshell of what's about to happen. Let's claim what's... Oh, I can get a restoration against Naples. Oh my god, it just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. I can claim everything. I, 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 I. I I'm going to start singing Les Marseillaires in my, in my sleep at this point because I cannot resist. Oh my god. Uh, vive les France. I think that's the right thing to say at this moment in time. <laughs> I can't resist. Should I claim it? Should I claim it? Should I claim it? I should totally claim it. I should claim it. Should I claim it? I don't want to annoy Aragon. Aragon don't matter. It's fine. We'll claim it. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Right. Okay. Um, first of all, step number one, calm the hell down. Second or two, take a breath. Thirdly, um, okay, I need to annex another boy. Um, who's going to go first? Right. Two, three, two. Blit. What about you? You are 400. Yikes. Armagnac. Oh, it's just Armagnac and, and Orléans. Okay. Right. Well, um, you're up on the chopping block. So Armagnac, come to me. Um, in the meantime, we have got a war to wage, um, so just bear with me as we get rid of this bond here with Castile real quick. Aragon still kind of like me, so that's a benefit. And we're going to go over to England. Hi, Mr. Messenger, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Oh, by the way, uh, Aragon and Castile are coming with me, and uh, I'm going to be doing this little thing called uh, taking back what's mine. Bye. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road. Okie dokie. Now, with that done... We are sending in our armies to siege down certain things. I've got my uh, vassals um, told basically to do what you need to do. Let's have a look. I haven't told... Right, Burgundy. Sorry, Flanders. Flanders, just um, be supportive. You haven't really got much to do. Milan, be supportive. Burgundy, I want you to siege, my guy. I need you to siege everything. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, this is going to be make or break right now. I need my allies to do what they're good at and be allies. Oh, this is stressful. This is so stressful. But this, if I succeed, I could be onto something. If this succeeds, I could be onto something. Is this still France to Frexico or is this France to Francia? Because I'm a little bit confused on which one I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, God. Speaking of money, there we go. Let's get trade done. Super that. With the forts enabled, I've still got a decent income. Oh, mamma mia. This is going fantastic. Okie dokie and things just got a whole lot tastier, guys. Things just got a whole lot tastier. Naples now controls 50% of Italy. If I can get a personal union on Milan and Naples. Oh, this is going to be a fun, fun series. I don't know if I want to form Mexico anymore. I really don't know if I want to form Mexico anymore. Because this is just too tempting. This is just way too tempting right now. Like, extraordinarily tempting. And I'm going to have to be careful here as well because uh, the English do have a bigger army than me. Granted, I've got the morale, um, but I really don't know what they could throw at me right now. I'm going to send these guys in to Aviero to get rid of that. Uh, Portugal also needs to be dealt with down here, but I don't want to be playing a game of guesses. Uh, we're about to take Lisboa, so I can piece them out ASAP. Uh, I can bring these guys back up. I think they're needed a lot more back up here. Go to Chatre. Everything should be fine. Okay, stability hit. That's fine. So what I'm going to do, the end is nigh. Um, stability drop. I am already nine years ahead of tech, so it doesn't really matter none. Um, I am five years behind for a neighbor bonus. I'm, I'm minus five. I need 700 for that. What is England's 
military level. Five, and I'm a six, five. Naples is a six. Damn, son. Okay, right. Well, I'm about to upgrade. I just need my mill power to get to 700. I just can't touch leaders. Enact that so we're on nine for the Diplo. Like so. Quest for the New World has now been completed. I'll do another one so we can get a colonist and everything can start moving forward. Okay, so now it's time to peace out Portugal. I cannot take the Azores for whatever reason. It won't let me take the Azores or the Acores because uh, I cannot make it a core. But I can take Madeira and Madeira is some progress in the right direction direction we're gonna do this we're gonna take 420 of their money because right now we need all the money we can get with the cash um i'm gonna also just quickly do that bum 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 right with the cash i need i think it's 700 or 600 something like that to do the uh path of enlightenment 613 okay yeah so i just need to take these provinces from england and then rob them blind give or take but i've taken small pieces everything's fine i could have taken agadir but I don't want to get involved in Africa right now. I don't see the point of expanding into Africa and making France richer if my end-all, be-all goal is to form Frexico. Maybe if I was doing the Francia run, I could do like a colonial Francia, uh, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So right now, I'm going to bring these guys to Paris. And Guy or Gui, I want you to come to Maine. Have them ready to strike the north. I'll have my allies here in the south. England now doesn't really want none. So I'm going to see if I can't take these and then some money. Okay, apparently they don't want to. So what I'm going to do then, I'm just going to be that guy. I'm going to hold on to these because at the end of the day, it's just England, Offaly and Ulster I need to worry about. Mission fulfilled, high income. That's fantastic. Build buildings, five churches and five workshops. I can achieve that, I think. That sounds easy enough, but I will do that after we have um, successfully... Oh, God. Finish this war with England because I don't want my economy. And I want to do the uh, Embrace the Institution as well. I feel like that's probably going to be a smart move. So we're just going to hold off on everything. We're not going to get involved all too much. There is a 13 stack going there. And I'm going to equip him with Henri de Vigny. And see if we can't... Oh, never mind. The Navy's just completely wiped him out. Nice work. Come round to Bordeaux. Maybe we can escape. Oh, my God. Oh, no. The English Navy just completely wiped them out. Well, maybe my Navy can survive the journey. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to have you based in Burgos because I don't know when you're going to strike next. You could be striking in the north. You could be striking in the south. The north is perfectly safe here. If all of our navies combined, I reckon we could probably take out the English Navy and cross the channel. But again, I don't want to make France too strong. He says whilst forming a union on everyone in his neighborhood. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Okay, so it's governmental reform time, and now it's time for Tier 3 Bureaucracy. You can either take max promoted cultures, or you can do the monthly autonomy, and I feel like the monthly autonomy in this case is going to be the best thing for us, so we're just going to do that. Uh, national tax modifier again, we'll take the cash, because um, it suits us better in the long run. And I'm going to see if England want to agree to my peace. Oh my god, they're going to give me everything. Can I squeeze in money? No, that's fine. Right, well, let's take that. Fan fantastic look at that so that is the core of calais sorted pop that on there mission fulfilled for reconquer normandy and reconquer gascony next up is subjugate Brittany and Co conquer provence which means we have to go to war with the papacy however that's no longer an issue do you want to know why because me and my friends are about to have some fun that's right we're gonna go to war with naples they are allies with castile and venice though and Castile would join them. Oh, Castile. You're such a party pooper. I could have had some fun fun. I could have had some fun fun. And you're just like, no, my name's Castile. And I'm going to ruin everyone's fun. I wonder. Can I get the Ottomans on my side to spank the Castilians? Hmm. I am thinking. Okay, so I've come up with an idea. I don't know how viable it is. But just trust me. It seems okay in my head. I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to do this to get a plus 29 boost when it, uh, tw sorry, 25 boost when it comes down to Armagnac. In time, I will annex them. Now, I need to sue for an alliance with the Polish who also carry the Lithuanians on their back. Fantastic. I will also sue for a royal marriage with them, which seems like a good idea. They seem like a trustworthy ally in the East. Now, you may ask yourself, Anglo, dude, that seems excessive. You've just got your stuff in order. Why are you doing that? One, 
I have a plus eight increase, so it really doesn't matter, especially since I'm literally about to finish the colonists and then everything should be fine. I'm also going to come over here. I'm going to get three of my carracks, move them over to Saint-Ange, like so. I'm going to spend some of that Diplo to get an explorer. Armand de Saint-Germain, uh, or Saint-Germain, and they are now going to go and get busy exploring. The quicker we can explore, the quicker everything go goes great. Madeira is nearly done, or Madeira is nearly done. With this alliance in Poland, that solidifies things for us, because the next mission to complete will be Provence. Now, the Papacy have quite a few allies. One of the most notable is Hungary. I don't want to have to go all the way to Hungary. I can have Poland and Lithuania do that for me. That saves me so much time and hassle. So, I'm hoping everything goes to plan. I've got a decent increase with my income. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to recruit some more troops. So, I have 15 and 4 here, 13 and 4 here. I'm going to get two new recruits in here. And I'm going to round it up to 16 like that. Doing that also finishes the mission build to force limits, which gives us a moral of army and land maintenance modifier. So that again means more troops for less money and they hit harder. Already mixed in with that French morale, they're, they're monsters. They are genuine monsters. So again, this is all kind of part of the plan of what's rolling in my head for the time being. Expand France, there we go, cool. And then that also gives us production base. If de France gets that for 25 years, fantastic. Next up would be conquer new states, which we shall do uh, by taking four here and then eventually in Brittany. <sighs> Okie dokie, it's now time for that war. And it seems that we're in luck. It seems like we're in a lot of luck right now because Hungary don't want to join. Therefore, we don't need the help of Poland. Genoa is currently at war with Savoy, so they'll be fighting to France. That's not a worry. Ragusa, they might be a problem in the long run. We'll see. But for now, we need to reclaim what's rightfully ours. So let's go and take, uh, I think it's Avignon that is the center of trade. That's going to be the main goal. We're going to assist with Guy de Pifort and Nicolas Henri de Vigny, and they shall move in on the spot. We also will do declare the restraint of repeals, which will annoy everyone in the neighborhood, Aragon included, Castile as well. Uh, that's not ideal. The papacy will go by 100. We're just going to do that. It's going to annoy a lot of people. Uh, and that is, well, oh, good God, this is, yeah, everyone's going to hate us for a while now. This is, uh, this is not ideal, but it had to be done. Pull out of Milan. We no longer need to maintain that relationship. I need to get fixing Castile and I need to get fixing Aragon. Right now, those are the two that matter. Pull out of Poland and focus on Armagnac. I need to get these guys back up to 190 ASAP. Because if they're not at 190, then I won't be annexing them anytime soon. Also, some more good news. We're going to go in here and embrace the Renaissance. By doing that, we are one step closer. And with Renaissance thought... Because my admin's already high, I'm just going to go and do the other exploration one, uh, which was expansion. So by doing that, not only do my settlers settle quicker, um, but everything just sort of works out a little bit better. I'll let all of these guys have access. I don't know, it just seems like a smart decision to do. I'm not bringing my navy into the picture just yet, since I feel like maybe I would regret it, especially with all of these galleys in here. You know, you don't want shallow water ships facing against tall, uh, deep water ships, because they'll just run circles around us. So, uh, just planning it safe. And uh, let's see what comes of this war. In the meantime, Armand, you shall head straight back out to the Caribbean Sea. Okie dokie. So, small update. We've managed to get uh, Saluzzo out of the war. We've just taken uh, uh, Avignon, just here. We've just suffered a great loss in a big battle here in uh, Toulon. Um, but with an with a actual squad here, it was, it was the Genoans and the Ragusans teaming up with one another. Um, but I don't think we've got anything to worry about. We're about to enact our second Diplo thing here. And that will give us some colonists. I'm not going to worry about overseas exploration just yet. For now, I just want my Diplo tech now to focus on getting level with everything else, really. Um, I'm going to have these guys sent to Nice just to get ready to take out um, the caribbean coast yes please do that um just to focus on taking out the uh genoans the genoans do bring a fairly large stack of troops i mean they they do contribute a fair amount milan is pretty butchered right now you guys go to genoa you guys come down to albenga together you can pose a massive threat Dearing me, this is so stressful. This is so stressful. Okay, so it's fairly risky, but I'm actually just going to peace out Genoa. I don't have to siege them down, which is brilliant. I'm going to see if I can't try my luck with Ragusa as well. Nope. Okay, I'm actually going to have to do something to Ragusa. That's that's perfectly fine. 
but I will send my troops back to Milan just to make them eligible for war. And then we'll unseat Milan, work our way into Rome, and then finish off the job over in Ragusa. Okay, this might be the chance where I can actually walk away with a cheesy little bit of support here. Can I take money? Nope, that's fine. Piecing you out will actually be uh, more than enough. So we'll do just that. Piece them out. Send these guys back to Kineo. By the time I've done that, I'll probably have Milan back under my control, which will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, how are we doing for Miltech? Miltech, we're still ahead. Admin Tech, we're so incredibly far ahead. Um, you guys come together down to Parma. Fantastic. And it seems that everything has come fully together. We've just completed a, a, a stack wipe in Avignon on top of the Papacy. So they are no longer a threat. The West African coast is about to be explored. Uh, can we colonize any of these? Uh, sadly, not just yet. I'm going to need that third... Uh, that colonial range plus 50 percent i'm gonna need that once that's done we can start colonizing the caribbean and work our way over to mexico next episode but for now i'm gonna click my fingers and i'll see you when we return okie dokie and to finish off today's episode the siege of roma is over we're gonna sue for a nice little peace treaty like that fantastic we've taken what's rightfully ours in Provence. We have lost our king and the new king, Charles VIII de Valois, has now taken control. He's not really a dippy boy, he's more of an admin boy, but we can work with that. Stability drops happened, we're back down to zero. Marriage succeeds with Poland and with Castile. We're going to use our Diplo to get that sorted here. Kata well, Katarzyna, which is, I imagine, the Polish version of Katarina, um, has become our new queen consort. A royal marriage has now been arranged with the Aragonians as well, ensuring that relation is still nice and all right. Uh, we also want to do a 7th of uh, September here will be our admin. And for the last, very, very last act of today's, we will do that. And we will make sure that these are our provinces we will seize them down and everything will be hunky dory so without further ado thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed if you have don't forget to of course click that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next episode au revoir mon ami